What's up guys, Drew Peacock here back with another video. Today we're doing something I am probably gonna call build review. I'm not sure. I'm gonna see, you know, comment down below if you have a better name for this. But build review. You guys send me your cars, not like Rice or Nice, okay? Don't say Drew Peacock. That sounds like Rice or Nice, okay? That's only the first sentence. You guys send me your cars, photos, interior, exterior, under the hood, and videos, and I will tell you my serious opinion on it. Okay, this is gonna be more in depth. You guys break down your mods, you guys tell me your future plans for it and I tell you my opinion on it, serious, okay? No comedic jokes, none of that shit, okay? I'm not gonna be sarcastic. I can be on, on occasion, but I'm not gonna try to be okay for this, okay? So I thought what would be a better way than to do my car first? You know, fuck it, we'll see how my car stands right now and I'll give it a rating, okay? Obviously I'm not gonna go 10 out of 10 and play favorism even though I think it deserves it, but we'll give it a serious rating and uh, we'll start there. So I proposed this idea a few weeks ago. I got a few submissions, but I kind of want to just show you guys kind of what exactly I'm looking for. So let's dive right in. I own a 2006 Mustang GT Premium, although you wouldn't be able to tell just from looking at it. It is a Mustang GT obviously, but the interior is pretty much all gutted and all gone. So we'll get there in a second. But exterior wise, I have a gray car with blue stripes. That's the only joke I'm gonna say. And then it's gonna be seriousness for the rest of the day. I have a Vista blue Mustang GT with custom gray racing stripes. Um, I, don't, I don't know, there's no paint code for them. It's just a random mixture of gray or silver. Painted by Wetworks Garage. I have a 3D carbon little body kit. I think it's the Boy Racer or something like that body kit. I believe that's what it's called. I don't know, some weird 2006 body kit. but. Again, I like how it looks compared to a normal S197 from this generation. I'm not a huge fan of those. I probably wouldn't have bought this car if it looked like that because it looks so basic. But I like this body kit. You know, it's not too over the top, but it looks nice. It's got a little bit of a wide body flare-ish thing going for it. So it looks nice. These are my old wheels. These are uh, Chip Foose wheels. They're 20 inch wheels. I'm not a huge fan of these. I'm happy I got rid of them. They do look cool, but you know, I'm not a huge fan of that. I had uh, Michelin Pilot Super Sport as my tire setup. 285s in the rear, 255s up front. We can see a little sneak peek of my inner cooler with my uh, nitrous fogger system right there. Again, we'll get into that in a minute. But overall, um, I like this photo. This is one of the first photos I ever took on my first uh, photo shoot. Again, I did this myself. I'm kind of proud of it. I like it. But uh, uh, let's uh, let's go to the next photo. Here's a shitty photo taken that would look like something on Craigslist, taken on a Galaxy. Um, this is with my new wheel setup. I liked how this booty looked at the time. I was like, damn, that should look thick, man. I'm about to you know go grab the lotion bottle right now. But I liked it. I have uh, now 315s, again, and on a three valve, that's the biggest I've ever seen. I've never seen anything bigger. I haven't even seen this. I couldn't even find a video of a three valve with 315s, so I don't know. I might be the first. Don't take my word for it, but uh, 315s, NTO 5Rs in the rear, NT55 G2s up front, Nittos. I have FR500 wheels from AmericanMuscle.com. Love that place. Again, nice booty shot. We can see my Bassani exhaust right here. We can see my little window louvers right there. I just like that style. Again, um, air does just flow through them and do nothing, but I like the style. I, I don't, no one sits in the back anyway because I have no seats. A nice aerial shot of it. Again, I like this photo. This is at my old job. I think I just gotten done waxing it or something like that. And we, I, I like how you can see the little uh, wide body flares. Again, I just like this photo. Looks really cool. Looks a lot better than the last photo. And uh, it just looks so sharp. I don't know why. Just, I'm a huge fan of this photo. Interior, we can see I have some aftermarket gauges. I have air fuel right here. I have a boost gauge. I have an air temp gauge. I have my meth injection little gauges right here. Um, they just flicker whenever it's squirting, so I guess. I have a little button right here to control my fogger system for the nitrous. I need to drink some water because my tongue is really dry and I feel like I have a lisp right now. Again, really basic interior, at least uh, looking forward. If uh, this photo was turned around, we'd see I have Corbo seats uh, and there, everything else is gutted. Yay, gutted uh, interior. Weight reduction, bro. In the future, I look to get uh, either a roll cage or a harness bar, at least, and some harnesses. I'd much prefer that. And I do want a different steering wheel. I'm not sure if I'm going to go super aftermarket with one of those little skinny steering wheels or just a GT500 style steering wheel, be just to keep that uh, airbag there just in case you never know under the hood we can see i have a saline supercharger with a blue motor the blue actually keeps it cooler red would keep it hotter it's a proven fact right there uh saline supercharger big old intake right here that shit looks girthy as hell my motor was built by gtr high performance out in rancho cucamonga california uh the displacement was changed from 4.6 to 5 liters so i do have a slightly larger cylinder uh, forged internals, all that good, good. Tokiko adjustable shocks right here. You can't really see a lot. This It looks super cluttered. It looks crazy, but I do not have any pool noodles, and I am proud of that. No red pool noodles under there. 
none that I can see at least. Everything under there is, you know, functional. There's nothing there just for looks, besides the blue paint. All right, guys, we made it to the clips now. These are the clips that I chose for my car to kind of show off what it can do. Uh, these are just a few races. If you guys have followed me and you guys have, you know, watched my older videos, you guys have probably for sure seen these clips. I used to use these a lot, and I'm sorry about that. But you guys have to see them at least one more time. <laughs> so here we go. CTSV SRT4 versus me. All right, just uh, let's just dive right in. CTSV sounded really good. Spooling sounds really good. SRT4 is gone. And took the W. One of my favorite races right there. I really like the angle. I like how the CTSV kind of cut across and shit like that. Look pretty dope. T6 Corvette right here. Unknown mods. And once I shifted into third, I was pretty much gone. So just a few uh, few clips. Again, if you guys have seen those, I, I am sorry. Again, I apologize for spamming those. But we're going to go to my Instagram. Here's actually my favorite race ever filmed of my car. It's me racing an S550 Roush Mustang. <laughs> Just giving him the gap. Again, I didn't even think I was going to win that race. He came up to me and was like, yo, you want to race? And I was like, sure, whatever, let's do it. And so we lined up and we went at it. I think it was a 40 roll. I might have slipped that first. Um, not sure. Maybe it was a 60 roll. You know, I'll just say it was a 60 roll. Don't know if I slipped or anything like that. But this was my old tire setup and they were notorious for slipping. Don't like Michelin Pilot Super Sports at all. But again, one of my favorite races right there. I liked it a lot. Here is, you know, we'll show this revving clip. Whatever. We'll go to revving. This is my Bassani exhaust. mad right <laughs> so uh, my exhaust setup is long tubes I have a Bassani catless mid pipe I have vibrant high flow resonators and a Bassani axle back I do want to upgrade I do want a different Bassani axle back I feel like this one is a little bit too metallic so sounding for my opinion but I like it um we'll go with one more now we'll go two more racing clips this is probably the fastest I ever went in my car I was in fifth gear and still going and um, against my buddy's Pro-Charged M3. God, I love that wine. So, Again, I don't know exactly how fast I was going. Um, since my car is thick, I usually look at the tack and not the speedo. But I was in fifth gear and I was still going. That was probably one of the longest races I was ever in. And it was a really good race, man. We were like neck and neck the whole time. He pulled away at first for a little and then I caught up with him. But really good race. I Again, really insane car. I'm sad he sold that car. But that's actually my Lambo buddy. That's his other car. So really mean car, man. Um, we'll go one more. Here is the uh, Godzilla itself, the GTR. <laughs> God, those turbos, watch, kicking in. And he fucking starts pulling away a little. And then I'm keeping up with him, and I just shift, and, you know, good good neck and neck race right there. I liked it. Um, it's my friend's GTR. He has a nice GTR. But, uh, yeah, just some nice clips. You know, this is kind of what I'm looking for for build reviews, just nice little races. Here's, uh, you know, we'll go one more. Here's a 392, again, old tire setup. You'll see me slip, and then once I shift, you'll see I uh, just kind of pull away from this thing. Slip, 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 shift, and bye-bye. Yeah, and uh, you don't ever see the car again. It was just gone. Uh, again, another good race. I don't think I have any more races that are really worth it. Um, but, I mean, yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking for for the build review series. You know, send me some pictures, send me some clips. I'm going to tell you my future goals for this car, and then I will give it a final rating again. This is all stuff that I would like you guys to send me, you know, pics, videos, goals and mods four things i'm looking for follow those things and you might make it into this video as long as it's not like a really stock looking car sorry but future goals for my car um once i get it back you know i took it into a shop because if you guys follow me you guys know that i broke my tranny destroyed that shit i took it in to see exactly what i need to fix 
If it's the full on tranny, then I'm gonna get a T56 Magnum by Trimic. Six speed, hopefully it can handle the torque. It's rated for like 700 foot pounds. I'm doing like 500 right now, so we'll see. After that, I'm gonna get my rear end swapped out, uh, my gears at least. I'm probably gonna go to 410s if I go with the six speed. If I don't, then I'll go to maybe 390s. We'll see. Again, not sure what I'm gonna do with that. After that, I'm looking into either E85 or cams. From there, I mean, shit, the sky is the limit. You know, you can do so many things. I don't know if I'll keep the supercharger forever or go with a Whipple. Again, just a lot of weird shit that you can do. But my goal for the car is to get it right around 650, maybe 700 wheel. It's kind of a lot to ask for, but I feel like it'd be really fun. So we'll see. I don't really want to make it a straight up drag car. I'm not really a huge fan of drag racing. You bust a lot of shit a lot easier. But uh, making it a cool little track car, you know, have fun at uh, different speedways and shit like that. It'd be a lot of fun. So that's my uh, goal for my car. Right now, I'd rate my car probably a 7.5 or an 8. Again, I don't think it's the sexiest or coolest car I've ever seen. Um, it is quick. But again, there's always quicker. There's always going to be a car that's quicker. But I have to give it a fair rating, and I would rate my car right around 7.5 or 8. Again, I do love my car, so we'll just stick it at that. There's always things that I can do to make it a little bit better. But like I said, as it stands right now, that's what I would give it. So we'll see what goes on in the future. Maybe in the future, when I get everything done, I'll make a new one of these, and we'll see what rating I give it. But anyway, that's what I'm looking for. If you guys want to submit that shit, send it to my Gmail, drewpeacock.clips at gmail.com. Submit it there. Submit me interior, exterior, engine bay, videos, and uh, your list of mods and future mods that you guys are trying to do. And then uh, we'll see if you make it into one of these videos. Again, this isn't going to be something where everyone makes it in. This is going to be something where, you know, feel special if you actually make it into one of these, because these are going to be kind of limited, okay? We're not going to be making one of these maybe once a week. We'll see what happens. We'll see how popular this stuff is. But until next video, peace.